Wonderful good day ladies and gentlemen, it's Vancouver Resource Conference here in Vancouver downtown in Canada and uh, yeah, it's the first day, the conference just started 30 minutes ago and my first interview partner here is with me, Jack Perkins, the Vice President of Investor Relations from Pershing Gold out of Nevada. Jack. Happy New Year and good to see you. It's great to see you again, Jan. <laughs> well, the year started a bit tough, the markets went down again, but uh, yeah, Pershing Gold, you are on the way to production, you are an emergent producer in Nevada and you had some fantastic real results so far. Can you comment a bit on that? Yeah, absolutely. You know, 2016 has been tough for the industry, but it's been a very uh, prolific, successful time for us. We've just finished our 2015 drilling program. We had more than uh, 100,000 feet of drilling in 2015. That's a lot. It's a lot. Five oh. rigs on site. Yeah. And uh, we're looking to put out a new 43101 resource at the beginning of the second quarter with mm -hmm. a PEA to follow. Super. It's a busy time for us. Wow. And uh, if I'm guessing you drilled a lot, the new 43101 is coming. Uh, can we say it's positive? <laughs> well, we certainly hope so. You know, that's where we're in the process right now yeah. to identify that, but all indications are very positive. Yeah. How many ounces do you have now so far? Uh, we, in have, the we have about uh, 800, 9,000 ounces mm -hmm. MINI. Um, important part about that, that's over 99% oxide, yeah. and all but 70,000 ounces are measured and indicated. Oh, fantastic. So let's uh, hope that you go over the million with that large program, huh? That would be fantastic. <laughs> that would be sensational. Absolutely, yes, yes. <laughs> you also brought out, uh, yeah, some good, uh, how can I say that, preliminary economics, yes. I would say. Um, they're a bit more on the internal side, yes. as I understood it, which I think it's okay. Yeah. But uh, can you comment on that also a bit, as to give a guidance for our viewers where you see the production, how many ounces you think you can produce per annum, and also really important in that environment, the cost. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, we put out those uh, preliminary internal economics in December. Uh, it's important to know there that uh, those are, as we say, internal, just meaning that they weren't uh, done with a third party. Yeah. Uh, we'll be putting out a new PEA uh, in the second quarter, or rather a PEA in the second quarter, which will be a full third party PEA. Mm -hmm. But right now we're looking at cash costs that could be as low as $6.95, all in sustained costs as low as $7.45. Mm -hmm. And here's the really important thing, only 11 million capex to get in production. So on the financing side, 11 million, yeah, extremely, Sorry, extremely inexpensive. Yes. Okay. And I mean, also with your shareholders, I mean, you have Dr. Frost, you have Barry Honig. That's right. Those are both, I would call it, yeah, very rich individuals. So yes. I think 11 million, if the worst uh, would happen, you don't get a financing. I think they can put it up by themselves. Uh, I'm they? sure. I'm <laughs> sure they could, but we've never had problems raising yeah. uh, money in the past, and I, I wouldn't think that as we move so close to production yeah. now with the Nasdaq listing in place, uh, yeah. that should make financing even easier for us. Yeah, fantastic. And uh, you think 11 million can do like a bank financing, like a project financing with that, right? You know, I think we have a lot of options, and we're examining all those options. We've done pipes in the past. Uh, you know, a shelf registration is always an option, debt financing is yeah. an option, royalties are an option, or some combination of all of those. Yeah. Uh, at the end of the day, we do have a lot of options and we'll do what's in the best interest of our shareholders. That's what I wanted to hear, best yeah. interest of the shareholder, that's always important. Uh, we see here sensational uh, photographs, uh, once from your plant, that's mm -hmm. one thing, the column in Leach here, and also from the open pit. That's right. And uh, yeah, friends of mine have been on your site last year and they liked it really a lot. We did a site visit movie. Can you uh, give us a bit more details? What do you need to get into the production? You said the 11 million, that's yep. one thing, yeah. But what do you have to install? I mean, you have all the permits, right? That's right, we have, you have all the no permits. You have no environmental issues? Correct. Yeah, so what yep. finally do you need to go in production? You know, we're going to relocate the crusher. Um, and uh, we have a, a few things to do on site. Uh, we're finishing up some metallurgy work right now. We're finalizing the mine planning. Uh, but all of this is in process. You know, it's important yeah. to note that the PEA is going to be much more robust than a traditional PEA because we've already done a lot of the work that you traditionally see at the feasibility level, like the metallurgy, for example. Fantastic. Yeah. Wow, that sounds tremendous. And uh, where do you see, let's say, the estimated uh, building time? Let, let's presume you have the 11 million, mm -hmm. the decision is sure. done, the PEA is fantastic, right. and uh, then you say, okay, let's get started. How yeah. long will it take? You can. Yeah, start the engine and produce gold. Oh, you could. we could be moving ore before the end of the year without any problem at all. Maybe even before that. Fantastic. So it's a short time frame. Absolutely. Absolutely. Good. I would say that's a wonderful outlook here for the year. Mm -hmm. And uh, last question, do you want to do some more drilling this year? Yeah, as a matter of fact, yes. Yeah, we're outlining our 2016 program uh, and uh, we'll be putting out more information on that uh, 
probably in the next few weeks. Super. And what's cash in the bank? Is enough there? Uh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> As of our last financials, we had about eight million in the bank. Yeah. Easy. So you are easily safe uh, for 2016, probably 2017 also. I mean, in this environment, that's really important. Yeah, absolutely. Well, like I said, we've never had any issues raising yeah. money. Uh, we've significantly yeah. de-risked the project. So uh, raising money moving forward, I wouldn't expect that to be an issue. But yeah. uh, as I said, as our last financials, we had about $8 million in the bank. Um, and um, we run a, a very lean shop and we'll continue to do so. Very good. Jack, yeah. thank you very much for the update and all the best. And uh, honestly, I look forward maybe the next interview. You can all already tell me we start to go in production. That would be great. <laughs> thank, thank you, you very so much. much. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, there was uh, Jack Perkins, Vice President, Investor Relations from Pershing Gold. Well, you heard it, 11 million only to go into production. I think that's absolutely not an issue. The amount of money, also they have 8 million so far in the bank. Uh, they did a 100,000 feet uh, drill program last year. The yeah, results were again fantastic. And uh, over 800,000 ounces uh, are already in the resource. They will bring out a new resource estimate very soon and uh, yeah hopefully it goes over the million that's always uh, sensational and a good cushion to sleep with and yeah we will keep you posted thank you very much and bye bye from Vancouver